Um, somebody asked me what 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 was I using for the liturgy of the hours? Um, for you know the prayer that religious and priests and laity can pray. So I just thought I'd do a review on the different books that I've been using for the liturgy of the hours over the years. Um, so you have the traditional um, a Breviarium Romanum. This the, the edition that I have of the traditional brevi. It's from uh, 1839, so it's 200 years old, and it's um, Pope Pius V. I'm okay reading the Latin. I'm okay praying it, but, but it takes me forever to pray it. And then if I find a word in some of the readings that I don't understand, there's no translation in here. So then I have to go back and look it up. But if also the the if you could just see here that the, the letters are pretty small in this edition. So I've been using this for a while and I've struggled with it because my eyesight is bad and uh, it's really small, the, the lettering. I'm okay with the scripture, the, the Latin in sacred scripture, but in some of the readings, it's like reading, you know, the ancient Greek authors or writers. I would just struggle with that Latin you know, you know, I struggle with some of the readings. Um, I could go through them, and then I'd I'd come to a word, and I said, "Oh, what's that word actually mean?" And then I'd have to look it up. I suppose if you're praying the traditional breviary for years and years and years, you're going to understand it. I I I struggled with it. That that's just me. Now, uh, I suppose I could I could persevere, but my biggest problem with this traditional breviary is the size of the text. And that there's no translation to bounce stuff off. So that's that's the traditional breviary. And this is the breviary before St. Pius X made uh, changes. So if people weren't aware of St. Pius X, he reformed the Roman breviary. So, but it's good as a reference. And I do use it from time to time. I like to reference in there and, and just see what it, what's in there. So that's the, the traditional Roman breviary of prayer. Um. I've also been praying for a while the monastic diurnal. So what um, Benedictines um, and the Order of St. Benedict would have used for their uh, prayer. Uh, monastic diurnal, it's the day prayer. So this is the just the volume of what is prayed during the day. And it's very good. The text is slightly bigger. And there's an English translation. Um. And I've been using that for a while uh, and, and found it very beneficial. Then I went and said, okay, well, let's I, I'll look at what the current breviary is in the church. So the current breviary is a four volume breviary now. Um, it's pretty big. So you, ha you have to know which volume you should be bringing if you're traveling. And so I've been using this one. Um, they have a guide, which is the St. Joseph guide. So I'm, I've been using that. And, you know, spiritually, spiritually, what I'm getting at the moment, I find the English, the modern breviary for me as a layman, just easier to, to pray with. Um, now, if I, my Latin was as good as it should be, I could have just used the traditional Roman one, this one. But I, I would struggle with the odd word and I struggle reading it. I struggle with my eyesight. So if there was a if there was a, a modern version of this with larger text and with an English translation, I could probably have struggled, but I'm I'm not able. I'm I'm simply I'm simply not able with that one at the moment. Um it takes me ages. It would take me ages to, to go through. So I've been using the English version. Um let me just put it over here. English version that here and I, I, I quite like this one when I was a seminarian we didn't actually pray the breviary they only advised it for deacons and priests and I, I always quite liked it you know I, 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 I always felt I'd like to pray this so I do recommend I do recommend you pray pray the breviary you get you you know it does it does help you spiritually it does center your spiritual life and I mean that's just me um there's lots of online resources if you don't want to go ahead and spend money on so i must have spent i spent 400 euros on different breviaries and prayer books this one i don't think i think i spent this is a 200 year old one i'm nearly sure it cost 
what was it? It was an antique anyway, so it a hundred euros. This was the the two hundred year old one, and the monastic diurnal was fifty euros, and the other was two hundred euros. So, um, uh, if you, if you just want to to start praying the breviary, I I recommend you get a breviary in your own language, the liturgy of the hours, and to pray it, uh, you know, as a lay person. It gives you, it gives me peace when I start my day. I'm doing these prayers and I'm following the rhythm of the day. Um, you can get this, all of this online. The breviary is all online. The different versions, actually, of the breviary, traditional, new one. It's all online. I hate reading on a phone. I just don't. I, if I'm reading on a phone, you get a call or a text message. You need to put the phone away. I do not recommend people use phones and tablets for this unless you're traveling and you're kind of disciplined i hate it <laughs> i hate it. i'd rather have the book i'd rather have the text in front of me and uh, that's just me so that's just my review of the breveries the the three different the three different ones that you have there uh i'll actually put the i actually put <laughs> can i put them all together Ugh! No, there you go. <laughs> Put them in for my for the uh, this is the uh, the breviary review, and um, so I'm recommending. I'm just recommending that you use the for me. Just recommending you use the vernacular, whatever country you're in. That's that's what I found when I've gone through them all. Now, if you're really 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 good at Latin and you've better eyesight, you can do the the roman breviary I'm, I'm sure that there are bigger editions and bigger texts and all of that um I, I do use it sometimes but i i would struggle with my eyesight and i struggle with some of the latin that i'm not familiar with that is not the not the not the bible latin it's it's any of the re some of the readings they would have in there if i come to a, a word and i said no i have to look at that up and then it breaks the whole flow of actually reading the the text if you're if you're if you're going back and looking up a word and looking for the context and so forth um that's simply where i am anyway just my thoughts on 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 breviary and i do i do encourage laity please read the book please pray the liturgy of the hours please pray it. there's lots of videos on youtube on how to pray it um and if you want a shorter down one then then i recommend the monastic diurnal i didn't continue with it um I, I preferred the I preferred the liturgy of the hours the the, the one the, the the most priests pray today I, I I like the readings and I like I just I just find it easier for me at the, at, you know that's just me anyway God bless take care bye bye.